I'm Tim Malloy with the Palm Beach Civic Association, and this is Palm Beach TV. A wave of optimism sweeps across the island. The vaccine is here, but now there are questions about how many doses will be available and when they will arrive. He's very well known around town, but who the heck is the challenger? The Palm Beach political scene is suddenly seeing a big shakeup. Let's all start the new year by getting in shape. The rec center leading the way as we kick off a weekly series of fitness reports for you. The pledge is this, every single Palm Beach resident who is eligible will get the COVID vaccine. The response to that directive has been evident in the people showing up for the vaccines beginning right now. The first residents, 65 and over, received the vaccine Tuesday morning. 800 had signed up to join a fastidiously organized assembly line overseen by Palm Beach Fire Rescue. Forms filled out one by one, the first of two doses. But by week's end, the sobering news that only 200 vaccines would be available next week. And after that, an unsure pace of new vaccines. The goal of town leaders has always been to tell residents it's safe, it's here, and there's no reason to hesitate. People ask, should I get Pfizer, should I get Moderna? The, the message directly from the state medical director is get whatever vaccine you can and get it as fast as you can. Fire Rescue, understandably conscious of the optics of so many residents getting the vaccine so fast, described an effort going back months to do what any American municipality was able to do, request as many doses as possible, as soon as possible. Palm Beach is early with us for a good reason. Tell us why. Yeah, so we had the, the advantage of having done exactly this, operating a closed pod and vaccinating the public in 2009 when the swine flu pandemic hit. That experience really uh, was, was very good for us. It allowed us to have all these systems in place, all of our agreements in place, everything in place to be able to just instantly turn this on and do this again and repeat that process. Very, very fortunate for us to be able to, uh, to do this quickly again, but it's largely because of our experience from 2009 and we were able to just duplicate what we did then. The town owes an enduring debt to Palm Beach Fire Rescue, says the president of the Civic Association. Amazing job because, you know, Chief Donato and Chief uh, Sean Baker, you know, have gone above and beyond. You know, their work ethic non-stop, 24-7 for our residents. And we, we need to show our gratitude to them, to our frontline workers, because during this, as we know, global pandemic, which has changed all of our lives, their lives have been impacted each and every day in helping us. The next round of vaccines should be available in the week of January the 11th. Town staff is actively working on plans for the second round of vaccinations. Though fewer appointments will be offered, the town leaders are working very hard with the county and the state to secure what was promised, enough vaccines for every resident to be immunized. An announcement on the new vaccine schedule will come early next week. It will be preceded by a town alert. So register for that at the town's website. Tim, this island-wide vaccination program is really very ambitious, but the head of the Palm Beach Civic Association's Health Care Committee, Judy Goodman, says it's well-organized and rolling out very well. I'm delighted to see how organized they were and how ready. For this first week, they've been able to take 800 reservations, and from my perspective, it's worked extremely smoothly. It is true that I have received um, calls of seeing is, you know, what can I do in order to get ahead on the line? And, and the fact is, is this is a first come, first serve system. And what the only thing Palm Beachers need to do is to make sure they're registered for the town COVID alert. And if they do register with the town COVID alert, which is strictly a, you know, an online registration system, they will get the signal from the town when they're open uh, beforehand to register for the next week's supply. There is right now big movement in town government, including the resignation of the mayor, 
Gail Coniglio. The mayor of Palm Beach since 2001, Mayor Coniglio was retiring with high praise from all corners. Now that opens the way for Councilwoman Donnie Moore to run for mayor. Moore, of course, is a well-known longtime public servant in Palm Beach whose mother was once the mayor. In the running for Donnie Moore's seat is Ted Cooney, the former chairman of the Landmarks Preservation Commission. He served for nearly 10 years. A wild card enters the town political scene in Candace Rojas, newly arrived from Delray Beach. She describes herself as a community leader who has run for local office in the past. In 2014, Ms. Rojas launched a boutique public relations firm, which she says assists charities, businesses, and political campaigns. As we get older, the risk of falling increases, and that's a big concern on this island where the average age is 68 years old. But there are things we can do to prevent falling Let's listen to the experts. For the elderly, falling in the home is an all too common, but very much avoidable experience. Enter expert number one, Palm Beach Fire Rescue. We go to the home and we evaluate your home for trip hazards, okay? We make it safer for you to navigate through your home and uh, not fall. And uh, we do an assessment, a strength assessment. We take vitals, we introduce ourselves. And uh, we are also at that moment include the family to come in and sit with us and talk with the resident, emphasizing on them not losing that independence because that's a big deal. Gee, hey, welcome to Balance and Stability. We're going to go through a few exercises that are traditionally done every class to help build muscular strength, muscular endurance, and of course, balance. Expert number two, Stephanie Bogdan, fitness manager at the Morton and Barbara Mandel Recreation Center in Palm Beach. Here, Stephanie teaches a class called Balance and Stability, designed to equip trainees with the muscle development and awareness they need to avoid falling, which may lead to debilitating fractures of the hip and femur and other health concerns. So we work with multi-joint movements. We make sure we have ankle stability, knee stability, and hip stability. So in terms of muscles, we're talking about the glutes, the quads, the hamstrings, and the calves. Though anyone can take Stephanie's balance class, many are directly referred by Palm Beach Fire Rescue after they've done one of their in-home falling prevention assessments. The whole conversation with this actually started within the Civic Association's Healthcare Committee uh, and meetings with the Recreation uh, Center and Palm Beach Fire Rescue. And we really saw there was a need for a class like this. For student Nikki McDonald, this class was a natural extension of some balance work she was already doing at home. When I'm standing at the sink, I now try and stand on one foot for a little bit while I'm washing the dishes and I stand on the other foot and I try and hold my core in, which is something I often forget to do. So that's been something that, uh, that's actually been kind of fun. Uh, it keeps me a little occupied while I'm washing the dishes at home. If you would like to sign up for the Balance and Stability class, just head to the Mandel Recreation Center website or give them a call. For the Palm Beach Civic Association, I'm Wendy Rutledge reporting. More than 800 people signed up and received the vaccine in the first go round, and there will be many more. You will all be able to get this. Ultimately, keep your eye on the Town of Palm Beach website as well as palmbeachcivic.org. One of the people who signed up and got the vaccine in the first go round was the author James Patterson, a well-known local, and he had this advice for all of us. I'm going to today. take my mask off for the moment as yeah. we've socially distanced, and I just got my vaccine, which is terrific. And uh, it's a very simple th thought for everybody. What is it? Uh, it's a pinprick. Yeah. That's it, it's a pinprick. And uh, no, no results. I've sat in there for 15 minutes, read a nice book, uh, Alex Cross book, <laughs> again. And um, uh, hopefully nobody should be, I don't, I, know, I don't like to tell people what to do, but please don't be afraid of this. If you have questions, talk to your doctor. Uh, you can go on the Palm uh, uh, Beach website for all information in terms of how to sign up, any information you want about the shots. But it's, uh, it's the easiest thing in the world to do. Uh, please don't be afraid of it. There's no reason to be afraid. Nothing, look, here we are. <laughs> A uh, beautiful day. And that's a nice thing about it because it will protect you, it will protect your family, it will protect strangers. And similarly, um, I will continue to wear the mask. So uh, a good way to start the week, uh, nearly 800 people getting the vaccine, more to come. That's a guarantee from the town. So keep your eye on the Town of Palm Beach website 
and palmbeachcivic.org because we'll be on top of that as well for you so that you can register for the next go around. We urge you as we always have to wear a mask, keep social distancing. Uh, this COVID is still rampaging through the state of Florida as well as the county. We've been very lucky and careful enough apparently in Palm Beach to keep it somewhat under control, but this is not over. So we wish you well, we're off to a new start and a new year and we'll be on the story for you, keeping you informed about the vaccine, especially. We'll talk to you soon. And place the, the ball between the knees. Right. And let's wrap the yellow band around our hands. Yes. Now, the closer you rub your hands together, the more tension you're going to feel. Okay. The more space, the less tension. Okay. We're going to squeeze the ball and pull the band. Yes. And come back center. So inhale. Exhale, squeeze. Very nice. So we're working on inner thighs okay. and your posture muscles, rear deltoid. I'm gonna give myself a little more resistance. All right, you try that too. And if you rip the band, you win a prize. Another band. <laughs> yes, right, good. Not fair. <laughs> so this is also working on coordination. Right. You have to squeeze and pull at the same time. Good, let's do four more. We're sitting up nice and tall. Very good.